हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू स्मॉल स्टेप अकेडमी एंड वेलकम टू योर न्यू लेक्चर नाउ ओके विद द फ्रेश माइंड एंड फ्रेश एवरीथिंग ओके सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट फर्स्ट थियोरम ऑफ वेलफेयर राइट विच स्टेटेड दैट ऑल मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम आर परेटो एफिशियंट ओके देन वी सी द मोनोपोली इन द एज वर्क बॉक्स एंड वी सो दैट अंडर द यूनिफॉर्म प्राइजिंग it they won't we cannot achieve the pareto efficiency but there was one case of monopoly when which there can be pareto efficiency and which was the case of perfect price discrimination or what you can say first degree price discrimination okay so now our last topic was left which was second theorem of welfare of welfare ओके गाइस, सो सो व्हाट डज सेकंड थ्योरम से सो अकॉर्डिंग टू सेकंड थ्योरम ऑफ वेलफेयर इफ ऑल इकोनॉमिक एजेंट हैव कॉन्विक्स प्रेफरेंसेस, देन देर देन देर विल ऑलवेज बी अ सेट ऑफ प्राइस पी वन पी टू सच दैट परेटो एफिशिएंट अलोकेशन इज अ मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम फॉर अप्रोप्रिएट असाइनमेंट ऑफ एन एंडोमेंट so basically in the second theorem we see about the fairness now government is allocate reallocating the endowment okay so that uh, there will be fair, fairness in the economy and uh, government will achieve the social welfare also okay suppose a is having this much only unit and the all all other is having this much the b is having this much okay so you can see that that the a is having a lesser unit like he is having very few unit and he is just controlling the whole market so in this case government will see this is not the good allocation uh, from the social point of view if you see from the equilibrium point and pareto efficient so you you get the solution this let's say you got the solution this okay but in this solution you can see that a is getting very less as compared to b okay so government will think this is not a appropriate allocation so what government will do now government will government will enter and reallocate their prefer uh, endowment okay suppose their endowment was initial endowment was here because we passed the budget line through this only and budget line always was in passed through the uh, initial endowment but government see that this is not a fair allocation so what government can do they can reallocate the allocation like they can do like this and it will be like this now now you know that equilibrium will come in the budget line only so now equilibrium may come like this this is your e2 so now if you see here the government has tried to do some fair allocation okay since it is not a, a allocation due with the market but it is the allocation which is fair so we have to see fairness also while keeping the social welfare also in the mind so this is what a welfare economics teaches us so if both person have convex preferences then we can draw a straight line like both person have convex preferences right so suppose we are taking that this is the uh, our preferred bundle so we will make our budget line pass from this so we will we will change our initial endowment to such point that it will come here and any point any any then and 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 bundle on this point will be your a uh, preferred bundle it, it it may be it it will it will be pareto efficient but it is not a market equilibrium because we are seeing here the welfare also with the equilibrium condition okay so if i state it again that according to the second theorem of welfare if all economic agent have convex preferences this is the first first point then there will be always a set of price p1 and p2 we have taken this is this will be the nine budget line whose slope is p1 by p2 so there will be a 
एंड दिस इज द सेट ऑफ पी वन बाई पी टू सच दैट परेटो एफिशियंट अलोकेशन इज अ मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम फॉर एन अप्रोप्रिएट असाइनमेंट ऑफ एंडोमेंट ओके वी हैव अप्रोप्रिएटली असाइन द एंडोमेंट एंड सिमिलरली ऑन दैट वी हैव मार्क द आर परेटो एफिशियंट पॉइंट बट दिस इज नॉट द मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम ओके इट इज इफ यू कैन सी ऑल्सो देन इट इज जस्ट द वाइस वर्स स्टेटमेंट ऑफ थियोरम वन विच वी स्टडीड बिफोर इट इट जस्ट सेज दैट वाइस वर्स ऑफ थियोरम वन इज नॉट थ्रू थियोरम वन सेज दैट ऑल मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम आर पेरेटो एफिशियंट बट ऑल पेरेटो एफिशियंट आर नॉट मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम इट ऑल्सो सेज दैट इट इज जस्ट द वाइसा वर्सा ऑल्सो लेट वाइसा वर्सा ऑफ थियोरम वन इज नॉट ट्रू इट ऑल्सो सेज दैट सो इफ बोथ पर्सन हैव कॉन्वेक्स प्रिफरेंसेज देन वी कैन ड्रॉ आर स्ट्रेट लाइन बिटवीन टू सेट ऑफ प्रिफर्ड बंडल दिस इज द प्रिफर्ड बंडल वी कैन ड्रॉ द स्ट्रेट लाइन हेयर दैट सेपरेट वन फ्रॉम अदर एंड द स्लोप ऑफ दैट लाइन विल प्रोवाइड मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम प्राइज रेशियो एंड एंड एनी एंडोमेंट दैट पुट बोथ पर्सन ऑन दिस लाइन लीड्स टू फाइनल मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम बींग द ओरिजिनल एफिशियंट अलोकेशन ओके सो द ओरिजिनल एफिशियंट अलोकेशन वॉज डिफरेंट बट नाउ वी हैव रियोलोकेटेड आर एंडोमेंट एंड मेक द बजट लाइन पास इज थ्रू दिम एंड नाउ वट विल बी द इक्लिब्रियम इट विल बी द परेटो एफिशियंट इक्लिब्रियम बट इट वॉन्ट बी योर मार्केट इक्लिब्रियम ओके सो इट 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 फॉलोज द प्रॉपर्टी थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज विच इज दैट द प्रिफरेंसेज आर कॉन्टिन्यूस कॉन्वेक्स एंड मोनाटोनस ओके सो बट वट इफ दीज थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज आर नॉट फुलफिल्ड ओके लेट सी वट विल हैपन दैन सो इफ थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज आर नॉट फुलफिल्ड सो लेट्स टेक दिस इज द बजट लाइन ओके एंड प्रेफरेंसेज ऑफ बी इज समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके and okay so this is the con uh, the preferences of b is like this so if you draw the second one i am taking the second one like this that it intersect here and the first one intersect here so now and the uh, preferences of a is convex only so now this is the x and this we take y this is ic of uh, A to sorry, it was the preferences of A and this is the preferences of B, and this is I C A one. Here it is O B, here it is O A. So now we are seeing that the con the preferences are not convex. Then uh, uh, efficient allocation cannot be achieved by competitive market. It just says that if the preferences do not follow three are three properties that is con if the Preferences are not continuous, convex, and monotonous. Then your efficient allocation cannot be achieved by the competitive market. It just says that because according to X, X want this amount of good, this allocation, but Y wants to go to this one because the this is the IC which is higher than IC A one. So he will always go want to go for A one. So this will be for the B two. So and you can clearly see that this is not an efficient allocation okay so this was just the case so as also if you see in the diagram allocation x is not preferred by the person one right <coughs> because person uh, person a can purchase allocation y which is on higher ic although allocation x is pareto efficient also you can see that allocation as x is pareto efficient but it is not the market equilibrium okay guys so now we will uh, we will see about the implication what are the implication of the second welfare so the implication is that the, what the second first we see what does it argue so the second theorem argues that under certain condition every pareto efficient allocation can be achieved as competitive market equilibrium 
द सेकेंड थियोरम इम्प्लाइज दैट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड एफिशियंसी कैन बी सेपरेटेड बिकॉज इट इज डूइंग द सेम थिंग इट इज सेपरेटिंग द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन विद द एफिशियंसी ही वॉन्ट्स टू अचीव बोथ दोथ द थिंग्स ओके सो वट एवर परेटो एफिशियंट अलोकेशन वी वॉन्ट कैन बी सपोर्टेड बाय द मार्केट मकैनिज्म द मार्केट मकैनिज्म इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशनल ओके द मार्केट मकैनिज्म इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशनल इट इज जस्ट सेंग दैट वट एवर द परेटो एफिशियंट आउटकम वी नीडेड इट इट कैन बी सपोर्टेड बाय द मार्केट मकैनिज्म इट इज नॉट दैट वी आर जस्ट डूइंग एनी टेकिंग एनी इन एफिशियंट पॉइंट but it is still supported by the market mechanism and the market mechanism is distributional is distributing one thing from the another okay he is doing initial distribution to make some equitable distribution not uh, not of some that there is very much gap between the two okay so prices play two important role in this market mechanism and what are they they and the roles are allocative and distributive so what are the functions now so the allocative role is to determine relatively relative scarcity whereas distributive role is to determine how much of different goods economic agents can purchase okay got it that allo allocative what does it determine it determines the relative scarcity which they have between the two okay whereas distributive role determine that how much of different good economic agent can purchase got it so so the second theorem says that these two roles can be separated these two roles can be separated and we can redistribute endowment to determine how much wealth each economic agent can have and then use prices to indicate the relative scarcity it is just saying that first what we will do we will redistribute the endowment to determine that how much uh, that what should be the equitable distribution of wealth that each economic agent should have and then use the prices to indicate the relative scarcity we will then use the prices at that initial endowment which we have decided so that they get the equitable distribution and then we have we mark the equilibrium so we first mark the we first take the distributive role okay then we see the relative scarce scarcity by indicating the prices okay guys so this was about the second theorem of felker and your general equilibrium is over and uh, we will do its numerical there are good numericals in our numerical section which we will covering up the later okay so for now this is for now uh, this is all for now okay and we will discuss about welfare in the next chapter we will start one new unit okay guys so thank you for watching and you can always post your doubt in the comment section i will be happy to help you okay bye okay guys keep studying and work hard okay guys